hello everyone welcome back to another video of automation testing setup so this is part 10 of jira series and today i'm going to talk about bug issue type in jira so in the previous video we have already spoken about how to clone and link an issue in jira right now today we'll focus on how we can create a bug type of issue type in jira and how to manage it right so let's have a look at the agenda for today so we are going to talk about what is the bug issue type in jira how we can create a new bug issue uh, issue in jira Later on, we'll discuss about how we can track a bug issue type and how it will be resolved by development team and uh, how we can link a bug issue to a user story. So this is what we are going to discuss today. So basically, we'll talk about the uh, bug type of issue type workflow, right? So let's talk about the first topic. What is a bug issue type in Jira? So many a times we already spoken about in previous videos. What are the different issue types we have in Jira? So we have a peak type of issue type we have a story or user story we have bug which we are discussing right now and task so these are the major issue uh, issue types we have in jira epic story bug and task right and don't assume like issue means there is a failure defect any error or any issue is there all these entities like epic story bug and task all will be considered as issue type in jira right if you talk about epic so it's large amount of work right if you talk about story so uh, the epic will be further divided into like a smaller units called user story or story right that is another type of issue type similarly for task as well now we have another type of issue type bug so this is this bug is nothing but another type of issue type in jira right because other other entities also like epic story task are also consider, considered as issue type so the, these are all considered as issue type in jira so bug is one of the one of another issue type in jira so it could be an error defect issue or bug itself correct these are all terms we have already spoken about when we uh, discussed in our manual testing series right so as a tester when we are going to raise a defect or an issue then we are going to use this issue type in jira in jira tool we are going to use bug type of issue type to raise a defect and it is not limited to like uh, only tester will we are going uh, as a tester we are going to use this issue type so developer can also use this and any other stakeholders can also use this issue type so developer can use this for let's say they are getting some exception in their application and they want to fix it so they are going to use this uh, bug type of issue type in jira and another if we get any production issue then we can use this bug type of issue type right so hope it's clear like what is a bug issue type in jira so practically i'll show you as well how we can create the bug type of issue type and uh, we'll see the workflow as well so let's talk about uh, these three uh, topics practically so let me take you to my jira account where we'll discuss about this right so let's get it started so this is my jira account guys we have already created a project uh, my new project underscore company managed right which we have already dis discussed in previous videos and we have here we have created some uh, user stories as well you can see uh, inside this sprint mc underscore sprint one we have created the sprint as well and if you go to active sprint you can see the uh, status as well right in this board if you go to timeline here we have different epics under which we have different user stories now let's go to active sprint now here you can see let's assume this ui development user story is already done the development is done right so we can simply move here and it will be done if i open in the new screen then the we can see the work state status the status of this user history is done right now let's see once it is done then we are going to send this to uh, testing team for testing this user history right to test this user history so let me create a column here so that you can understand better we'll discuss about uh, how we can configure this board as well in coming videos but let me quickly do this do this right now for our understanding of the workflow for uh, bug issue type right 
so here we have columns and uh, what we can do we can create we can click on this plus icon and we can create a QA type of column right and we can simply add this column now come back to the workflow and we'll see that will be added in the active sprint so simply click on active sprint now you can see QA so let's say before I think we should have done this before so let me configure board again and uh, this is fine like this right now go to active sprint again sorry configure board we should keep done over here right so come back to active sprint again now let's see this is the workflow so we have to do an in progress done so this ui development is done now we are sending this to qa right so now if i refresh here refresh to this uh, mc-3 so it it is in qa status right so we'll talk about what are the different workflow we have uh, workflow status which we are going to discuss in coming videos now this is in qa for testing so let's say this is ui development and we are testing the ui part of the the login page right and we got some issue which as a tester when we are testing it then we got some issue right so how to raise a defect here so we have create button here so click simply click on create and here you can see issue type bug bug type of issue type right so we'll select simply select the bug type of issue type and here we'll raise the bug type of like what is the summary of this defect so let's say this is defect one unable to log in into the application getting error or you can uh, elaborate it properly like unable to log in into the application getting the uh, uh, whatever error you are getting right so just for our understanding i have written like this or simply you just write like unable to log in into the application and a parent no need to select anything component as well so here in the description what you can mention we have already given the summary now steps to reproduce launch the application let's say our site is http abc.com enter the username and you'll give the username like test user enter password admin at the rate one two three and click on submit now here we'll write what is the so these are the steps to reproduce that particular issue which we have raised here unable to log in into the application we are getting some error so what is the error we are getting right so here we'll write expected result expected result so user should be able to log in into the application application and uh, what is the actual result unable to log in into the application getting unexpected error let's say we are getting an un some unexpected expected error okay in red color or something it is throwing an exception so we can give the actual result over here and here we can put the we can uh, give some attachment over here or we can directly put the screenshot over here so let me show you how we can put and select like this and uh, 
it is already copied come back here after the actual result you can put the screenshot like this right so here we have properly what is the like defect we are get uh, putting the summary over here unexpected error occurred unable to log in to the application unexpected error occurred defect 01 right and steps to reproduce you can hold this and expected result as well actual result and this is the screenshot right and a reporter who is going to report the this defect what is the priority so this is going to be highest priority right and uh, label also we can select login login page which we have already created a label right and environment also we will talk about environment as well later on how we can set the environment and attachment also you can give over here Be because we have already put the screenshot here uh, so no need of any attachment or you can if you have any further documents or anything supporting documents so you can attach over here as well now this is important so which issue type it is blocking right so how we, we are going to link the issue type like which user it uh, user history it belongs to so simply we'll select the blocks here which uh, user history it, it is blocking mc-3 and assignee assigned to me or you can assign wh wh whoever developer is there which wh who to whom you are going to assign right so just for an example i'm going to assign myself right now and uh, you can select the sprint from here mc underscore three and mc underscore sprint one so now everything we have filled here simply create click on create you can see the view issue here so this is how you can raise the bug type of issue type here defect 01 unable to log in into the application unexpected error occurred and here you can see beautiful uh, steps to reproduce we have written over here expected result and actual result you can see the screenshot as well you can uh, like maximize it as well open it properly and environment uh, anyway we we are going to discuss about environment later on how we can set the environment and you can see here linked issues which issue it is blocking mc-3 this ui development right and if you open this in new screen this mc underscore 3 iphone 3 so you'll see ui development it is blocked by this mc uh, hyphen 26 this defect right yeah so you can see this ui development user story is blocked by this defect and you can uh, give the notification to developer as well so let's say you can select using this at the rate in this comment section please fix this blocker issue right and we can simply save it so we'll get the notification this developer will get the notification right email like this comment please fix this blocker issue and he will work on this defect and uh, later on based on based on the resolution we'll put the comments as well so let me add the comment yeah here i have i'm playing the same role like developer and tester so issue is fixed please retest it click on save so something like that you will get the comments as well and you will get the notification when we use this at the rate when we notify the particular person right now after the resolution right after the resolution we'll uh, we'll see uh, where is that our defect this is our defect so here you can see we can put the progress anyway we'll talk about uh, what is the different workflow as part of testing right so here we can see like once it is fixed so we'll have the fixed status over here as well so they will put it like fixed and then it'll come it will come to us and then we'll retest it and we'll make it like done or closed right after testing it so this is how it works this bug type of issue type so i hope it's clear guys and let me know if you still have any questions in the comment section of this video so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye